Hey friendlies, I'm Carolyn. Welcome back to my life living in an RV. So a couple things I wanted to chat with you today about. Number one, an update on my health and how I'm doing uh, with my COVID recovery. And the second thing is I got a question this morning, I think it was, on my channel. And I was going to read it to you here. I didn't prepare ahead of time. But uh, how do I deal with being sick? Am I going to go to the emergency room if I'm sick? So I thought it would be a really good idea to talk about health insurance uh, as a nomad and what to do if you do get sick and you have to go to the doctor. So I thought that those would be really good topics to cover because they do come up quite a bit on the road. People you know, like me, as we age, we start having more health issues. And uh, so healthcare is a definite concern for people who are on the road or thinking about getting on the road. So first of all, let's talk about how I'm doing. So I'm, I'm actually doing remarkably well. It's been t three weeks since I first started symptoms. My energy has actually been pretty good, but I'm taking a ton of adrenal support. I've been traveling, so I've, I've been doing okay there. I'm ha my cough is mostly gone and um all the like normal symptoms are mostly gone i'm struggling with stomach problems like pain in my stomach the first time i had covid that was one of the weird symptoms i had was just uh, literally the first time i'd wake up doubled over in horrific stomach pain in the middle of the night and i'm not usually prone to a lot of stomach issues um, but I'm having stomach aches again. The first time I had COVID, I also had ear aches, but I'm having stomach pains again. Like f almost every day I get a stomach ache. You know, I'm not eating any differently. I'm not doing anything differently. I mean, I'm, I eat pretty much the same stuff all the time. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. I think, you know, GI issues, I know they say are a part of it, but there's that. I'm headaches. I'm having a lot of headaches. Um, woke up again with a head, a horrible, terrible headache, but that felt like sinuses and my breathing is still not quite right. Like I get out of breath, super, super easy. Um, you know, I feel it when I talk, um, I'm camped near a river, so I'm walking up and down and, um, I'm able to do it, but I definitely feel the heaviness in my breathing. So I'm still trying to take it easy. I'm not really good at being sick. I said that before, you know, I, I, I go, 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 and I'm feeling a little bit better. So I want to push forward and say, okay, I'm healed now. And I really have to be mindful and really remind myself to not overdo it because I am still recovering, you know, and I'm overweight and I'm in my fifties. So I do have a lot of the, um, um, red flags, you know, for someone who could get really sick from COVID. So, and I have a low, um, my immune system. I haven't had it checked in a while, but um, my white blood cell count has been low for a couple of years. Uh, like I said, I haven't checked it in a while, but for two straight years, it was pretty much staying at 3.2 or whatever. So my immune system is also not that great. So I have to remember, remind myself of that and be careful. So that's an update on my health. And as far as how to handle being sick on the road, how to handle even even prescriptions on the road, which I just had to do. Uh, it's a really good question, and, and I'm going to share with you what my experience has been. So I have a home base. My home base and my home state is Nevada, and so I get my health insurance through my state of residency, which is the Nevada Health Exchange. So the uh, Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, allowed everybody, whether you're employed or not, uh, this network to be able to get insurance. And that's how I get my insurance. I'm self-employed. So, you know, not having an employer, I have to figure out health insurance on my own as a self-employed business owner. And so that's what I've done. I've gone through the health exchange of the state that I am a resident of the Nevada healthcare or whatever. The first couple of years I had gone through a Nevada healthcare system and I completely was not happy with the healthcare that I was getting. I mean, I have some horror stories. It was pretty bad. So last year, I when I renewed, I got a completely different, I upgraded. I'm spending more money. I don't even know, two 
I'm only spending like $250 a month, I think it is. Something like that. It's automatically withdrawn. But I think it's like $200 something dollars a month. And um, I'm going through Aetna now. And part of the reason I wanted to change also is because I did want to make sure I got a, a health insurance that I would be able to use that's not out of network any wherever I'm traveling, any state in the country since I travel a lot. So I did a lot of research when I was, every time I start, she needs to take a drink. It's the weirdest thing. Every time I turn on the camera, every single time I turn on the camera, she gets a drink. Now she's on the bed. Uh, so I, I did a lot of research to find a health plan that I would be able to use a doctor or emergency care or what it, what's the other one they call it now where you don't have to go to the emergency room, but they have these clinics that you can go to that aren't quite ER remember what they're called uh and i wanted to make sure i would be able to go to those anywhere in the country so that's my advice to you is to find a health plan that allows you to see a doctor that that is nationwide that allows you to see a doctor anywhere in the country without having to be out of network and having to pay a fortune for it so this time when i was sick that what i did because i was a little concerned because i was out in the middle of nowhere so i took i was proactive i didn't wait until i was in an emergency situation to try to figure out what i would do in an emergency well number one i was way out in the middle of nowhere and it was raining and i couldn't move so there were logistics to that that were a little worrisome for me and I just had my spot device. I, you know, I had an internet signal. So I just had my, the emergency number ready just in case I did have to call an ambulance and they had to come and get me. I mean, an ambulance, I'm ho pretty sure would be able to go most places. And, uh, and I was really mindful of my oh, what was going on with my body and really paying attention to my temperature. Uh, it got as high as 101 and I knew if it got up to 103. So it, th that I couldn't plan for. I didn't know I was going to come down with COVID, right? I didn't know that I was going to be six miles out a windy, muddy, steep road with cliffs on one side. I didn't know that that was going to happen. And this is just a risk that I take as part of my lifestyle. And But what I did when I did come down with the, the fever is I said, okay, well, I, what are my options if I need emergency care? I can try to drive down the mountain myself. I can call emergency i can use my spot device for search and rescue which would have been the expensive route i wouldn't have done that because i did have a cell signal so 911 would have been my option and as soon as i could move I, well there were two things going on either i'm going to get better and i'm going to be okay to stay here or if i don't get better as soon as i can get down that road i need to get down that road and I knew that my health insurance, Aetna, that there were doctors and clinics and places that I could go in the closest town. So that's what you need to do. Just find a nationwide, if you're going to be traveling like I do, find a nationwide carrier where you're, um, you know, my, my insurance that I had before, anything outside of Nevada was out of network. Literally, like it was a Nevada-based health care. I don't even remember what it was called now. It sucked, but it was a Nevada based insurance. So pretty much anything outside of Nevada was out of network. So now that I have Aetna, it's nationwide and uh, I can see doctors and it's not out of network. They're limited still. So you need to know if you're, if you are feeling sick, if you're going to be somewhere for a while, like the area that I'm in, I've been in for, for a little while. Um, know where your closest in network emergency is care is your in-network doctor care is and they're really doing i think covid probably has progressed our health online health care faster than it normally that it would have otherwise i was able to do a teledoc appointment the other day to get a prescription refilled i was really bummed i paid 45 dollars for a online consult or a, a phone consult basically just to say, hey, I need my migraine meds refilled and um, $45 for that. And he only gave me one refill and then $5. So nine migraine pills ended up costing me 50 bucks. So I'm like, I'm going to go to Mexico next again. 
uh, as soon as I can. So there are, I can do video health care. I can do telephone health care. I can do uh, minute clinics through CVS. I can just walk into a clinic. So the health insurance I have now, I definitely have a lot more options for health care than I did before. So that's my advice to you. I don't know, um, because I'm not there yet, how Medicare works. If, but I'm sure Medicare must be to like, do you get to choose? I, I really don't know what that is. But if you're going to be traveling, I highly recommend into, recommend looking into whatever health care you have. And even if you have to pay a little bit more, it might be worth it to have nationwide doctors available instead of having to go out of network and then you're paying more out of pocket. So uh, that is, that is uh, yeah. And then prescriptions, I can just have, uh, usually I use Walmart. Um, I had a prescription with a bunch of refills. Unfortunately, I let it expire because I don't always need them. I'm having a lot of headaches right now, um, a lot of migraines and headaches. So I'm going through a lot more now, but usually, uh, I get my prescription filled at Walmart and I can go to, I can use the app to get my prescription refilled and I can choose whatever Walmart I'm at, no matter where I am in the country. And I think most of the major pharmacies do that. You know, you could go to CVS, I'm boycotting Walgreens. So you can go to CVS if you want and, um, they have it in their system, so you should be able to pick it up anywhere in the country. Some Class A narcotics and things like that, I understand you probably can't um, refill across state lines. So what, what I would recommend, and this is what I tried to do with my migraine medicine, I can get my migraine meds filled every 23 days. And I tried whether I needed it or not. I tried to get it refilled as soon as like in 23 days so that I could stockpile my prescription. And I fell short on that because I went to Mexico. And honestly, again, they, it seems like the Mexico, they worked for a while and now they're not working. I, I don't know. Uh, so again, the prescriptions that I'm seem to be getting in Mexico seem to be hit or miss. Um, I have a whole bottle and they don't seem to be working. And I'm not sure they work. Seems like they work sometimes. I don't know. So I don't know. Just be careful about what you get in Mexico and call your doctor and say, Hey, you know what? I'm traveling. I'm on vacation and I need a, a refill in whatever state you're in and see if they're able to do that for you. I think there might be some problems with, with those kinds of uh, medications. So just be prepared ahead of time. Don't wait until you're in need. Don't wait until you're sick. Don't wait until you have an emergency situation to figure out where you can go to figure out what the, um, what your health plan requires and whether it's out, out of network or in network. If you're going to be on the road and you're anticipating health issues or you're like me, you're just getting older and, and things are happening more and more, this is definitely something that you're going to need to research and plan for. But there are healthcare providers that have uh, doctors that you can see in network all across the country. And that would be in my advice to you to look for one of those. So I think that covers everything. I think I answered that question. Urgent care, that's what they're called. There are urgent care clinics that you can go to. And I've actually gone to those. I went to one in Oregon when I had the staph infection. I did have insurance and I still had to pay out of pocket. I think that's what it was. I think I had my Nevada insurance and it didn't cover it. So I still had to pay several hundred dollars out of pocket, I think is what it was. So do your research. That's all I can recommend. Call your insurance company. If you can't find the answers that you need online, uh, customer service should be able to help you. Let them know you're going to be, you know, traveling. My new thing is I'm on hiatus. I'm traveling for an, a year. Uh, if anybody asks, <laughs> you know, um, I'm going to be traveling for a year and I need health insurance. So what do you recommend? Uh, so calling your insurance company can also be helpful. So yeah, I'm feeling a little bit tired today. I was going to actually travel today and I woke up feeling not so good. So I just, um, I'm glad I decided to stay put and I'm kind of feeling it right now. I'm not sure. I'm not, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I need to be, uh, 
taking it easy and not pushing myself as much as I tend to do. So hope you found that helpful, useful information about health insurance. And again, double check your subscriptions just because you think you're subscribed to my channel. It doesn't mean you are because YouTube unsubscribes people. So uh, I appreciate all of you who are here and who have been sending me your healing, happy, healthy thoughts and prayers. It means a lot to me. Oh yeah, I'm going to put this video up now because I want you all, um, I don't want to compete with the January 6th hearings that are tonight. I've been waiting for those and I know a lot of you are going to be watching those too. So I'm going to get this video up right now. I have more videos coming for you soon. I really am just trying to take it easy and not push myself. Listen to my body. So I didn't even know if I was going to put up a video and then I saw the question in the comments. So I thought, yeah, this will be a good video for today. Got lots of ideas, lots of things I want to do for you. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, share my videos. So thank you all so much for being here and I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. See you soon.